I hated the ending to Red Seas Under Red Skies so much I don't want to read the third book. Spoilers. Hello guys and welcome to I Love Reading. A channel about interesting book-related subreddit topics. If you love our content, please press the like button, leave a comment and lastly, if you're new here, subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. Please convince me otherwise. I adored the lies of Locke Lamora, and I had similar feelings for the bulk of Red Seas Under Red Skies, but the ending made me feel like all the struggle and strife was for nothing. By the end, nothing has been won. Didn't make basically any money from the Spire heist, they have nowhere to go, and now Locke is going to die. I feel like they went through everything just to put Ree Quinn in more power. Especially in contrast to the first where despite the tragedy of the other gentlemen bastards, they still made Raza pay and got away clean. The first book was immensely satisfying, while the second book was in equal measure frustrating. Lynch wants them to win, but their situation to continue to get worse. A lot of people feel like that, and the endless nautical terminology make this a difficult book to read. The third one is much more accessible and fun to read, but also sort of makes you question whether Scott Lynch is as a good of a writer as you thought after finishing the first book. I definitely think that's a common issue with books featuring super clever protagonists dealing with complicated schemes. It gets harder and harder to come up with reasonably complex problems, and even harder to justify ways for the protagonist to win. With as few spoilers as possible, would you say the third book is better than the second? Can you elaborate on that? I don't want spoilers, but I would appreciate the opinion of someone who has read the third book. It's better than the second. You meet a certain important character from their past, and you get to understand their dynamic more. The stakes just don't feel quite as high, even though our main character is slowly dying. The cracks are starting to show in Lynch's armor. It's getting hard to imagine he's that he'll be able to finish the books in a satisfying manner, if at all. Yeah, I really enjoyed Lies, and while I finished Red Skies and didn't hate it, it just didn't have the same punch to it. I felt like Red Skies was too complicated with all the intertwining plots and intrigue, and then it got finished up very quickly without satisfaction. That said, I think middle books tend to have that problem in general. Leaving something hanging may give a reader a reason to read the next book, but may also leave some readers feeling unsatisfied. I'll probably read the third one, but I'm not chomping at the bit to get it like I was when I finished the first one. Be convinced. I feel ya. Loved the first and thought the second was frustrating and mostly pointless. Thankfully I enjoyed the third as much as the first. I ranked them 5 star, 3 star, 5 star. It's more fun shenanigans like the first, and we meet Sabetha. If you don't read the third one, you'll miss so much fun. And if you read it, you'll be in pain waiting for book number four that is coming who knows when. I don't think even Scott Lynch knows that. The decision is yours as an enjoyment of reading another good book from Locke Lamora Universe. I honestly didn't even finish Red Seas Under Red Skies. Maybe I identified with Locke too much, kept getting dragged away from the interesting heist for boring nautical adventures he didn't want to be on. Maybe the author's long-winded world-building monologues got to be too much in this one, especially in audiobook format, that I kept losing focus. Either way, I found myself just not enjoying myself anymore and walked away from it. So you're annoyed that a heist story ends with a staple of the genre, and that the middle book in a series ends with a cliffhanger? Just because it's a staple doesn't mean I have to appreciate it. I assume you're referring to the counterfeit paintings instead of originals bit. I'm not upset about a cliffhanger. I'm frustrated that the ending didn't resolve anything. The whole ending made the gentleman bastards seem like helpless losers who got bested by the bad guys. Not very satisfying. Especially compared to the first book's climax and ending. There you have it, why Redditors hated Red Seas under Red Sky's ending. Note. Books talked about in the video can be accessed through the link on the description below. Thank you for watching till the end. If you loved the video, don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to I Love Reading. See you on the next video.